The newly crowned queen, Victoria, is as delicate as a chick on her own wing. She was passionate, yet reckless. And then there was a man who, like a father, gently shielded her from the world's malice. Lord Melbourne, it seems, would rather be in pieces than protect her. If there's anyone you don't know, I'll introduce you to them one by one. I will speak out against anyone who opposes you. When you're afraid, I'll ride with you every day. I'll always stand behind you when you're in the dark. I'll be behind you when you're in your glory. But the one man Queen Victoria could always count on and trust failed miserably in Parliament that day. The Whig party, led by Lord Melbourne, was dealt a severe blow by the passage of the Jamaica Act. This meant that he could no longer lead the Liberal Party, and he had to say goodbye to this naive girl. The next vote we would certainly lose, and I'd rather leave now. This cannot be. How can I? How will I? I think we all know that what Victoria didn't say was out of place, or that what she had to say was out of character for both of them.